Welcome, Duck fans. Uh, joining us here today is head women's soccer coach Jeff Parker. Jeff, thanks for joining us. Absolutely. Thanks, Ben. Now, Coach, uh, you guys just closed out your regular season. Won four out of your five uh, last matches. 14-3-1 overall and uh, 18th in the latest uh, in SCAA rankings. Can you talk a little bit about uh, the team's success this year and, and the secrets to, to some of your to the good play you guys have had so far? I don't know if there are any secrets, <laughs> but um, we, we, we've been pretty balanced. Uh, we've got a good group, uh, we're a little deeper than we've been, uh, uh, especially since last year. Um, we've got a group that's worked hard for each other, and uh, we, we've been fortunate. We, we've almost always found a way to uh, get done what we've got it done within that, that a lot of time. But um, coming off a tough, tough loss this past weekend, uh, heading into the conference tournament, we're, we're, we're excited about that. It's kind of a fresh start. And uh, this is, this is what, it's, what it's like to be a student athlete at Stevens. You know, it's, it's postseason. It's a, a lot of work. And, but uh, we're playing with some of the best teams left in the country, so we're excited about that. Um, now, this team seems to find a way to, to come back and win some tough games. Earlier this year, you guys had a couple of two-goal deficits. You came back from to win. Um, also in the conference play, you had a game where you scored uh, two goals in the final uh, ten minutes there. Can you talk about uh, this team's uh, just kind of never give up attitude? Well, they've been pretty good. Um, you know, we talk about uh, 90 minutes and, we, we, you know, the, the first minute is not any, any more important than the, the 45th or the 23rd or, or the 89th minute. All the, all the minutes are important. We have a lot of players who play a lot of time and, um, you know, people get caught up in starting or this player's playing here or playing here sometimes, that's what you hear from outside, but we're really about, you know, putting it together and it's a full 90 minutes that we try we, we try and work and we, we try and sculpt and we try and shape it into what we want it to be um, and that's the time that we really have to put our mark on the game. Uh, that's what we try and do and, and we've been fortunate so far. Uh, it's going to be exciting to, to see how uh, postseason shapes up. Now, a little earlier, you mentioned, uh, you talked a little bit about the balance and the depth of this team. Um, offensively, it seems like you guys are just getting a lot of goals from a lot of different places. You have six players with at least five goals. Um, can you talk about, you know, how that's really helped this team out, just having that balance on offense? Well, that's kind of uh, some of the Stevens teams of old. Uh, we're, we're pretty balanced across the board. Uh, we don't really, we don't play a system that one player is going to score all the goals or one player is going to make all the saves or one player is going to win all the balls out of the air. We're pretty deep, we're pretty balanced, and, and the good thing about that is that we're interchangeable parts, and uh, we hope that when you add up those parts together that, that uh, you know, when, when we're together it actually adds up to more than just the sum of the parts added up individually. So uh, when we're together we feel like we're, we're a strong group, and uh, that uh, we can accomplish just about anything. Uh, moving to the defensive side of the ball, uh, Caitlin McClymont, junior goalkeeper, Enjoyed a stellar uh, season in that, 12-3-1, uh, 0.75 uh, goals against average. But can you talk a little bit about her play and also the, the back lines play, which has helped uh, produce eight shutouts on the year? Um, yeah, I think our defense begins w with our goalkeeper, and uh, it actually begins with our goalkeepers. Uh, we have three outstanding goalkeepers, and uh, you, you're only, only seeing one for the most part this season. But, um, you know, Teague and Kelly and, and Catherine Keel are outstanding players in their own right, and they're pushing to, to make Caitlin McClymont better. And the three of them work really well together, and they push each other, and they are always come to every training session trying to improve. And that's been something that we want to carry throughout uh, our program and throughout our team. Um, the back line, uh, Lexi Lyons in the back, Paige Allen, uh, Kara Pepe, uh, Nicole Brand, and Caitlin Labonte, Becky Wass are really kind of the six that have really kind of done it for us. And kind of like up front, they, we have some interchangeable parts there too. But um, overall, you know, they've done a pretty good job. Um, we're still working on those areas to try and shore up a couple things as we move on. But um, they've, they've enjoyed a really good season and we're excited that they're a part of our program. Now, uh, this Saturday, you guys will be making another appearance in the Empire Ray Tournament. Um, you'll be uh, facing... Uh, second seed at Ithaca College um, up in uh, Nazareth. Um, now you've played uh, Ithaca earlier this year, lost a tough one, two to one. Um, you had, you dropped uh, the semifinal match last year, one nil. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, what you've seen from the Bombers 
um, and, and how you look to pull upon those experiences uh, to help you guys out Saturday? Well, they're a big hurdle for us, um, one we haven't yet gotten over. But, uh, you know, it's, that's the thing about sports. Every day is a new day. So we're excited to get a chance to play against one of the best teams in the country and one of the best programs in Division Three history, to be honest. Um, it, was a t it was a pretty pretty good game we played earlier in the season here at Stevens, 2-1 uh, in overtime. Um, you know, we did some things well, we did some things a little poorly. Uh, they did some things well, and they made some mistakes as well. But we've uh, each come a long way since that time, and hopefully we'll be uh, a team that's able to put it together on the day. Um, our performances and training have been pretty good, and just hopefully we're able to come, come prepared and uh, put 90 minutes together. All right, Coach, thank you for your time, and best of luck this weekend. Thanks a lot, Ben. Take care.